hello guys welcome once again and today in this video i will be showing you how to use jdate chooser so let's get started so i'll be showing you how to use it or download it and how to add this jdate chooser in your palette manager so just go to your google and just write here j calendar j calendar space jar download so just download from any website you can download from any website just download that jar file and i have already downloaded it so i'll be showing you uh, how to use this and just to add this jar what you have to do is just right click on palette and just you can see a palette manager just click on palette manager add from jar and wherever you have downloaded that jar file just open that file from here and just click on next and it will be asking for two three items like what you want j calendar j date choose or whatever you need just select those and just click on finish button and you will be able to see your j calendar here and a j date chooser so i'll be adding this feature to my j frame and here i have i think i have already yeah I'll, i have already added this and so i'll be showing you how to save this when i'll run this program and i want uh, to add this i have already made a table here uh, you can see my table uh, employee and i have in that i have made five six five six column six columns you can see here employee id employee name employee last name employee age employee department and date of joining and for date of joining i have used data type as date time you can see here data type date time i i want to say you that uh, sql accept date in a particular format so the format is you can just you just drag your j date user here and just click on that and just go to the date format string you can see here and you have to write this format the date should be in this format then only the sql will accept okay so just write this and press okay and i'll be coding this in <clears throat> you can see here save button event mouse click here i have to declare that date as string so we will be saying string date equals to just right here j text field just set a j date choose uh, one dot get date editor dot get ui component and after that just write dot get text so we are we have converted the date into string and you can see a error here jtx fail you can see here just click on this and just you can see you can see here add import from just click this and the error is gone so we have converted here we have converted the date into string and we have to write here just just we have to write here psd dot six and here i will be writing the variable name string name here date so let's run a program and see um new employee employee name karan last name thakur age 23 department a and i'll be choosing the date here like one so 
the date is you can see here the date is in the same format which we have defined there so just click on save button and the data has been saved ok and you can see the date is appearing here so we have seen in this way you can use JDate user so that's all for today in the next video I will be showing you how to fetch date from database to your JFrame if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe and if you have any query you can drop your comments below the video thanks for watching I will be providing the link for that jar file so no need to worry thanks for watching and bye for now